today because this is the first of a very important new movement, the People's Assembly movement, and it is about the issues which have brought us here, the things that concern us, health, pensions, jobs, and so on. And uh, the thing about political activity up to now has been that people at the top have come and argued for the policies they want and tried to get support, and that's absolutely necessary. But uh, there's also been another movement growing on a very big scale of people who get together and say, this is what we want. Will you listen to us? And uh, the People's Assembly is a popular movement demanding attention from the people at the top, which marries very well with the people at the top who want support for the policies they believe in. So that's the importance of what we're doing. And if I look at, for example, the, the movements that have begun this way, take, I wonder if anyone remembers, up at Clyde Shipbuilders years ago, it was a shipyard that closed, and the trade unions decided they would keep it open and run it as a cooperative. Then there was, uh, of course, the famous uh, example of the miners, miners' strike, where the miners came out in support of their members, and uh, even though the government did everything to, to stop it. They couldn't succeed, and for nearly a year, the miners held on with the support of the women, and uh, they made a tremendous impact on public perceptions of politics. And at the end of the miners' strike, the miners re-elected Arthur Scargill as president of the NUM, and the Tories threw out Mrs. Thatcher as parliament. <laughs> not always entirely predictable. <laughs> and what we're doing tonight is bringing together the, so many of the movements in which we've no doubt been involved, the Stop the War movement, which I've been involved, the, co the uh, coalition against uh, uh, austerity, which is fighting against the absurd unemployment figures that are being encouraged by the government, and uh, all the other campaigns that have brought us here together have now brought us into the People's Assembly and we are now in announcing that we will be demanding what we want and expect to, and to be heard. And that is how political movements begin and how they have their effect. I think the only other thing I would want to say is that the individual campaigns that have gone into this uh, have uh, acquired a huge importance, I think, of the Stop the War Coalition, that attack in New York on 9-11, which uh, <coughs> caught everybody by surprise and led to a long war with Afghanistan, which is still going on. Um, they say they're going to pull out in 215, but I wonder whether they really will. And I think to maintain the campaign against the Afghan war, was very necessary. And then, of course, we had the war that Blair declared against uh, Iraq, and that uh, had very little popular support, but it went ahead. It was a war crime. It, uh, in the end, did not succeed. Uh, it failed. It cost a lot of lives, and uh, that was an example of where popular movements can have some sort of an impact. When you take other examples, the situation in Syria now where there are people wanting to intervene, but if you intervene in Syria you get involved in a Syrian civil war and before you know where you are you find that uh, Western nations are controlling Syria and saying well this is in the interest of peace and that is something we've got to resist. Then you have the associate matters of the coalition of resistance dealing with the cuts because many of these cuts have been made in order to finance the wars that I've been speaking about. Yeah. I mean, if you make cuts in social services, then you still take the public money uh, for war, then in fact it's the poor who are paying for the war, and you have imposed that upon them. And that is an outrage of the worst kind, and it raises the whole question of 
the policy of austerity, which is leading to mass unemployment in Greece and Spain, and in France it's going up, in Britain it's going up, and we have got to stop that and go for a policy of growth, which means you put the money into investment for the future, and then as you do that, you train skilled people to do the job, and out of it come economic prosperity. So all of these are things we brought together under one banner. And it's an appeal to young people, because they're the ones much affected by unemployment. It's an absolutely massive uh, blow in favor of economic recovery. It's in favor of social justice, of peace, of all the things that we here today believe in and that what brought us to this meeting. So, welcome. To, to, I'm glad you came. I think it's an important event that it should be taking place. And there will be plenty of opportunities to meet again under the People's uh, uh, Banner of the People's Assembly because we are the ones who are taking the initiative in drawing attention to what needs to be done. So by coming together today, we have made a very important statement of our intent not to sit back and accept what is being done, but to demand the new policies and a new government and a new start. So I wish you all success. Thank you very much.